a special delivery from Wynola Ranch. from Wynola Ranch that just brought our cage. We've got David and uh, Nashville here. So they're going to be so kind as to talk to us a little bit about their cages and what they do. So David, how long have you guys had Wynola Ranch going and what made you guys get it started? So we've had Wynola Ranch about 15 years or we started officially 15 years. Prior to that, we were just raising quails for ourselves and we really got into it. Then we started getting into pheasants, ducks, and basically all the poultry. And we're like, well, you know, when, why don't we actually start making making it easier for everyone? Also, you know, all that information that we learned, we try to apply it in our in our products. So, what's unique about your quail cages, your design, how you do them? What's what's different from the way you guys do it than versus anything else I would order online? Well, the difference is that we like to listen to the customer's viewpoint, and as you can see, I mean, these cages are relatively unique as into why the trays are a little larger. We had a customer say, hey, you know, they're, they're getting some debris in the food. So from there on, we started making the trays larger. The feed troughs for this one is a high capacity feeder. And these are exclusive to the six tiers. The reason that we're unique is because we like to listen to the customer. And, you know, not all companies say, hey, what's what's your opinion on this? What can you do? What can you say that'll improve us? Wow. Plus, we're all made in the US, you know, all this stuff. Is. Uh, that's awesome. We love the fact that you guys are not just made in the U.S. but local. They are literally just up the hill from us a tad and so we like supporting a, another local business that's uh, homegrown here. But you guys don't just serve customers here locally in California. You guys also service customers all over? All over the U.S. Right on. All 50 states. Wow. Now have you gone international yet? Uh, once or twice yeah. but it's we've been trying to work with uh, UPS to actually become international, but also, you know, we have to expand operations to do so to be able to fit everyone's needs. Right. Especially with this quarantine that happened, we got slammed with orders and we're like, oh my gosh, what the heck's going on? You know, but we, yeah, we do sometimes send to Canada. Uh, we sent to France and Australia before. And, you know. So it's international company now. Yeah. <laughs> so why do you think there was an uptick in uh, people wanting cages for, for quail and getting into that uh, throughout the quarantine. I know personally here I had a lot more people interested in acquiring chicks and ducklings and things like that this season that normally wouldn't have been interested in it. So w what's your take on that? Well, because there's nothing more reliable than doing it yourself. So that's what everyone wanted to get these. They're like, well, we can't have chickens because some communities don't allow it. So they do a lot of quail. There's nothing, you know, on the books of quail, so they can do, get this, have their eggs, have their meat, in a small little enclosure. Exactly. Quail are sort of like the sneaky a way around to circumnavigate some of those pesky chicken rolls that you have. So, David, are there any other products that your company is making now that uh, you want to talk about here? Yeah. So these cages specifically are for chuckers and jumbo brown quails. The other cages that we have are mainly for just quail. So this is a new line that we have that's going to be made available for chuckers. Basically any partridge or any more medium sized bird. Even, you can even use it as a grower cage for chickens. We've used it in the past, mm. up until you know you can set them up on the ground. I kind of like that yeah. idea when yeah. I get, yeah, yeah, okay. That's good to know, that's good to know. What other products does the company sell? So we have the, basically your quail scissors, the partitions, mm -hmm. and different sets of drinkers. Um, personally, I recommend the trough drinkers over basically anything else. They're the most reliable way of having water for your birds. And water is a very important thing for your birds because if they don't have water for let's say an hour, they're not going to lay right for two weeks, if yeah. not the rest of that quail's life. We've had that issue in the past. Ten years ago, we had like little cup drinkers and they all failed. Mm -hmm. So we're like, well, we need to make a more reliable way. So we put a trough all the way down our cages and we don't need to go in and, and manually check it. We just, oh, it's got water right. They're good to go. Right on. Some key features of this cage, it is a custom cage. It's not what you know you would get right off the rip. Like I said, we like to listen to our customers and what they would need. So with this, 
We added the feet and neck protectors, also available in our parts section of our store. Uh, keeps all the other birds, uh, you know, anything that wants to come get the, the eggs or into the feed. With these cages, now it's standard to have a larger uh, manure tray. That way it can cover the feeder up in front. You know, since it is a community cage, they are gonna be running around more than usual. And with that running around, they're gonna be a little more messier. These are our high capacity feed troughs. Thank you, Nash. Uh, they're bigger and they can hold up to five pounds of feed. So you can basically feed them in the morning and feed them when you get back from work. With these chucker cages slash Jumbo Brown Coternix cages, they do have a three door panel. And these are relatively easy to open. You just pop this up in and out easily. This cage does come with the manure D collectors, so it keeps the size of your cages a lot cleaner, you know, versus them not having it. Like I said, community cages are gonna require more maintenance, uh, just more cleanliness to it. This is the bucket with the spigot. This is gonna be available in the parts section of our shop soon enough. Um, and with this specific bucket, we put the float valve in it. And you can just hook it up to any random garden hose and you're good to go. When we are sending these out, we send them out with a stem valve that hooks up to the bucket. Now, like I said, we're gonna have the spigot and this is the same idea as a stem valve. You just up in it, you just have to get one barb and you're good to go. You can slide this ring up over this. So these are the high capacity water troughs and it's dust covers. Some people say that the quail essentially poo in the water, which is not necessarily true. The bird eats, drops the food into the water, but and those are easy to clean out. You just get it, dump it into a bucket, and just hook it back up. Thank you for having us here at the Crouch Ranch. Um, here we have Paige. Um, we explained to you, it's very wonderful to be here. And, and here in Nashville, no ranch. Thank you and have a good day. Bye bye. Thank nice. you guys for having us. Thanks for watching, guys. Look forward to an upcoming video of me getting the quail cage ready and getting the quails settled in. Don't forget to go check out winolaranch.com. The link is down below and go see all the goodies they have to offer. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell so you get the notifications. What? Am I done? Okay. I'm just a stand-in hunk. That's right. Flex a peck. That wasn't, that was, you went like this, you didn't flex a peck.